in Ukraine must not be allowed to stand. With your help, we will do everything in our power to help Ukraine defeat Vladimir Putin. I would like to invite Most Reverend Bishop Brian of the Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Toronto and Eastern Canada, as well as His Grace Bishop Yuri of the Eastern Eparchy, Andri of Eastern Eparchy of Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada to lead us in prayer. The Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For you know it's a sin and his sweat of the Duha. Amen. Bosje Veliki, Bosje Sicilni, Mehrishni Dite Tvoji, Usmereni Serdec Naših, Prehodimo do Tebe. І схиляємо перед Тобою голови наші, Отче наш, прости провини наші, і прийми нині благаємо Тебе цю щиру молитву нашу і подяку за Твоє безмежне милосердя для нас. Вислухай наші молитви, і прийми благання засмучених сердець наших. Поблагослови нашу вільну Україну, мир, спокій, перемогу, волю і щастя дай її. Примилосердний Господи, хто вдається до тебе з благанням, Ласку Твою пошли, помагаємо. Thank you very much. 
question. You know, today, Toronto is not just the sister city to Kyiv. Toronto is Ukraine. Toronto is Kyiv. We're all here together to say no to this creeping atrocity today. No to this we can offer, and it's only symbolism, but I think it's important. I was proud to stand myself up there on that uh, walkway and raise that flag, which will stay there as a symbol of Toronto's solidarity with Ukraine, Toronto's solidarity with Ukrainians, and with our wonderful Ukrainian-Canadian community here in the city of Toronto, because it's one of the biggest and one of the best in all the world. And we are standing with you in solidarity. certainly on behalf of the Mayor and members of the Council, there are a number of councillors that are here today with me to say no to this atrocity and to say yes to a free Ukraine, to say yes uh, to our Ukrainian friends who are themselves going through such a nightmare at the moment which has to stop. And so I, I hope that people out there, I've been asked today two or three times, what can people do? Well, a lot of people have showed up here and that's wonderful. People can contribute, whether it's through the Red Cross or otherwise, to people who are struggling right now in Ukraine who need our help, help on a humanitarian basis. People can support the wonderful efforts that the government of Canada has begun to admit people uh, to our country. Think of what has come up with the wave of refugees that have come here and how, how they have helped to build this city and this country. We would be flexible, although it's in tragic circumstances, that people come here from Ukraine. We want to go back into the river by helping people to settle here who come here uh, from Ukraine. But most of all, we can just stand firm in saying no to this. In saying no to this. Since when did we stand by when people would walk in to a democratic free country and assert and try and assert their will on top of those people? We say no to that. We stand in solidarity in saying no to that. And we say yes to Ukraine and yes to our Ukrainian Canadian fellow residents of this city. Slavo Ukraini! Thank you very much. Deputy Mayor, Mr. Michael Thompson, who wasn't able to be here today. However, he did send his statement. It reads, Toronto stands in unity with our sister city and our local Ukrainian Toronto. We denounce Vladimir Putin's illegal military invasion of Ukraine. I want to assure you that I will do everything in my power to ensure that the City of Toronto does whatever it can to provide humanitarian assistance to Ukrainians, both those remaining in the country and those forced to flee. I will work with the Mayor and our colleagues on the City Council to find all of the effective ways to help. Ukraine must remain free to choose its own path, and we have the duty to defend it right to do so. Slava Ukraini, glory to Ukraine. Our next guest is the Honorable Christian Freeland. Christian Freeland, Canada's Deputy Minister, Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. She is joined here by her colleagues from the Liberal Party. I see in the crowd Mr. Ivan Baker, the MP for Etobicoke Center. Mr. Baker, wave. Okay, everybody, the MP for Parkdale, High Park. Mr. James Maloney, MP for Etobicoke Lakeshore. Ms. Julie Zidovich, MP for Davenport.
and the world will honor their memory. Isn't Ukraine a magnificent country? I feel over the past few days, the whole world has seen how remarkable Ukraine is, how remarkable the Ukrainian people are. I am so proud of the fierce, courageous stand that they are taking. And you know what? They are fighting for themselves. They are fighting for their sovereignty. They are fighting for their democracy. But they are also fighting for us.